Hello, I'm Dean Akers and we're here at Bushwhackers and Sin at the moment and uh, we're actually speaking to the wonderful Lorna Simpson who's just finished on The X Factor. Lorna, how are you today? Oh, I'm feeling really great, thank you. Yeah. And how are you feeling since uh, all the show sort of thing has been over? How are you, how are you getting on? I'm actually feeling really positive and um, yeah, just looking forward to my shows coming up and just really glad to be in Swindon, to be honest. I can't wait to get the show on the road later and see who comes out and how, how it really is down here. So yeah, there's just lots to look forward to and I'm just really positive. So you've just done your sound check and yeah. you sounded amazing. Actually, I've got to tell you this, you weren't sounding just amazing, you were sounding smashing. And I've got proof oh. because the lights were actually falling off the ceiling. It was that good. Oh Did you see God. that happen? No. It was fantastic. Oh my God. I can't believe it. Okay, maybe I should tone it down a bit. <laughs> don't want to like, you know, uh, crumble the place to bits. You know, I want to enjoy myself, to be honest. No, don't tone it down at all. Bring the house down okay. is what I say because it's absolutely wonderful. I say we've got the proof here. You are smashing. Oh, you. We've got the evidence to prove it so what do you think this year of the new x factor format what are your thoughts on that because it was a little bit a little bit cruel this year wasn't it I think it was kind of cruel from boot camp, to be honest. I mean, uh, you know, there was a lot of people saying, you know, on Twitter and, you know, just various sites, that, you know, uh, oh, no, the, the seat thing, the twist is like, it's, it's horrible, it's awful. You know, you can have your dreams snatched away from you. And I just think, you know, because it's the 10th year anniversary, they, they tried to come with something. But, I mean, yeah, it's quite cruel. And, you know, it's... But then that, that's TV for you, isn't it, to be honest? Absolutely know what you mean. TV can be like that. It's all about entertainment, isn't it? Why do you think the over 25s this time in particular were so affected in the first votes? I think the over 25s, it's never really been good to start with. Everybody's always said, oh, the overs don't stand a chance. Sharon, I, I love the overs, just so you know. I know, I, I love them too. But I mean, uh, I think it's just really pressurising because, um, you know, obviously the X Factor is about, they say, you know, from 16 to 20 year olds, that kind of thing. But I mean, talent is talent. Um, but then it just goes to show that the X Factor isn't just all about talent, is it? It's usually about entertainment and getting the public in and just, you know, just, um, you know, just a lot of painful things twists but it's still a joy to watch you know that's just x factor for you definitely i mean i must admit i was really really shocked at the results the weekend just gone you were actually in the over 25s for, for definite in fact probably in, in the whole uh, lineup you were one of my faves and i was gobsmacked absolutely gobsmacked when i saw what happened um you know i i loved your performance that you did um in front of if you like the fifth job performance when you're in front of all the audience yeah oh that was absolutely crazy i mean i i guess the whitney track wasn't oh, it yeah it was i mean uh, they've made me do so much whitney it was like oh for god's sake not another one but it was great because that is a great eight song and it was 80s week so emotional and um, lots of hot dancers and just getting it was really hard to belt um and i'm like obviously i'm a belt and then moving at the same time so it, but you know obviously i smashed it but just in the end it, it, it wasn't it was just a hard hard call to be honest I mean, for that for me so far has been one of the best performances it was amazing you know you had everything going on there you had obviously your voice was fantastic but you had real stage presence and that really came across and I was looking forward to seeing more of your performances so I'm pretty gutted that I, I didn't get to see more on the TV but certainly should be watching you uh, around certainly are you on tour now what are you up to now yeah um, my tour's just started it starts tonight obviously <laughs> this is the first one. Yeah, oh first wow one, so. we're so privileged it's yeah. fantastic I can't wait just to get it on just get going you know really something else i wanted to know about was um apparently there were some wardrobe issues now is that, am i right in thinking you you have stylists which sounds all very glamorous doesn't it but you not don't actually get to choose your own outfit so what went on there well i mean the word stylist is quite good but i mean uh it's just how they deal with it and uh, to be honest i don't think i had anything in common with the stylist and I didn't get a choice and I mean if you can see today I look quite different from how I was seen on TV so I look a lot better in real life so the public say and I mean um, you know there's no point in doing something if you're not happy so you know I just didn't have the chance to speak up so they might have just done me um, a favour really because you know well, I mean you're young you're very glamorous you're very beautiful and you're very oh, trendy and I think in your auditions we saw that you know and, and then you know it's sort of a, what, what are they doing to you I know, that's what I was like. Why? Oh, because you're in the overs. I'm 26, love. Like, no. That's still very young. It's, well, well, exactly. But, I mean, I'm not like in my late 30s or 40s, as usually the overs are around that age. And, but my wardrobe, it was like, oh, not even my mum would wear that. 
I know, I know exactly what you're talking about. Talking of, of the overs again, do you think there were too many belters in the overs? Do you think that was what the problem was? Too many belters, too belters. many powerful singers. Oh, it could be that. But then again, you know, the point is it's a talent show. And I mean, no, no mentor wants to pick a weak act. Everyone wanted to pick the strongest. But I mean, just like it's TV, maybe they had their eye on a certain someone. It's like, oh, let's just get everyone out of the way. And you, you just never know. You, you do. Yeah. You never know. Uh, talking of belters, as they, you are certainly, as far as I'm concerned, you are the best of the belters. Oh, what you. song, if you'd had the choice to choose any song at all that you'd like to have sung live on that stage, what would it have been? Oh, it would definitely have. It have to be like a proper ballad, an '80s ballad. Um, you could have gone from well, for, for instance, Sam Bailey's one, uh, "Power of Love." I've done that for years, um, and I've always done it really, really, you know to a T but in my own style um, so it could have been like you know just a proper power ballad a proper you know big 80s classic you know not every time it has to be to start off the first week as well I mean everyone saw me kind of move about at boot camp because I put my own twist on I want to dance with somebody it was stripped down but I danced with it so it would have been nice to just see me standing there um, you know but again I didn't get the choice in that to be honest um, but yeah, definitely a ballad because I'm definitely a, a ballad singer, a pop kind of thing. Yeah. So you've got the choice now. You've got the options, obviously, to do do more of your own thing now. So what can we expect to see? What does the future hold for Lorna? Oh, the future. It's got it's got definitely got to hold like some recording. You know, um, people want to listen to CDs um, and just um, me giving a mixture of everything because I'm quite influenced by all different genres of music. Um, so you could have from dance, you know, funky. You could have from ballads. You could have pop bit of reggae you could just have a bit of everything really you know do you know i was expecting you to be quite versatile i think that's why i was so looking forward to your performances so i i am very disappointed we didn't get to see that who who do you think is going to be the winner this is the big question isn't it of x factor <laughs> 2013 who's it going to be you just never know because everyone stepped it up and at first you know i was thinking oh i've got my eye on a certain person but then you see them kind of be pushed to the back and then you see someone else come out and it's like oh Everyone's seriously bringing it. I mean, I've just in my I've just got this deep feeling about rough copy though, but I can't. It's a hard one to call, so I can't definitely say. Oh yes, it's gonna be because you never know. Because with this show, there's so many twists. Did you make friends with lots of the contestants? Did yeah. you get on well? Who, who was your best friend in the oh, X Factor house? I was especially close to Shelley. We got really close from boot camp. And yeah, Miss, Mrs O calls her Devon Shadiva. And I'm her poppet. And we're <laughs> always texting. I mean, even since I left, like we're always texting, even on our days off, calling. And, you know, she feels quite different without me in the house. It's just quite, because we oh. shared a room. She but, did say that, actually, on yeah, the show. I did see that. been close, me and Shelley. Um, and, you know, she loves my family. I love her family. It's just, but I mean, I got close. To, to everyone to be honest but I just I'm just one of them contestants who wasn't always running around after the camera I'm quite reserved mm. but when I perform it's like <gasps> where did she come from so I hear that's you know so you're saving all your energy for your performances yeah, yeah. yeah I think that's a good thing to do and definitely now that you're on tour you're going to need all that energy because lots of people want to well, see you so it's quite um you know just coming out of that as well so that's what my personality is like and then I go out there and you'd never know that I'm shy like when I perform no, you certainly wouldn't know at all. Because I say, you've got fantastic stage presence. Well, thank you so much, Lorna. I wish you all the best for the future. And I know this is, you know, we're going to see you everywhere. And certainly, hopefully, this isn't the last we see of you in Swindon. We want you to come back again. But thank you so much. Thank you so much. You're